This video is intended for beginners to jump canceling. There are already good videos out there explaining how jump canceling works and why it's important, but I find that few provide the specific tips and training routines necessary for a true beginner to start practicing this technique effectively. This is what I hope to provide. So, why jump cancel? In Devil May Cry, staying in the air is essential for safe and stylish gameplay, especially on higher difficulties. However, there are two main obstacles to staying in the air. The first one is that the gravity pull on your character increases over time, causing you to fall more quickly the longer you stay airborne. The second obstacle is that some of your moves can only be performed in the air once, forcing you to touch the ground before executing them again. Jump cancelling mitigates both these issues, as it resets both your fall speed and move allowances, allowing you to stay in the air indefinitely. So, how does it work? Jump cancelling refers to the act of cancelling your current action with a jump. However, just any jump won't do the trick, it must be an enemy step. The enemy step is a move that can be purchased in-game and it is performed by pressing the jump button while being in the air and close to an enemy. If these conditions are met, jumping will interrupt your current action and allow you to input a new action without delay, while simultaneously resetting your fall speed and move allowances. I will now go over a few exercises designed to jumpstart your learning process. We will be using Nero as our character for the purposes of this video. Let's get started. First, jump off the enemy a few times to get a feel for how you need to be positioned to avoid making a regular air hike. Now we're going to take it to the air, and all I want you to do is to pull the enemy towards you using Nero's Devil Bringer and jump off him as he arrives. I'm going to call this the pull and jump, and you can use this to stay in the air indefinitely and even adjust your altitude by changing the rate at which you execute this move. We are now ready to try our first jump cancel, and the best move to start with I think is split. This is because you can jump cancel this move anytime before you hit the ground, making the timing very forgiving. Next, we're going to try and improve our timing by using this move. Execute the jump cancel directly after the attack lands. The goal is to avoid falling alongside the enemy and instead maintain a constant altitude. Practice this for a bit before proceeding to the next step. Now we are going to attempt a caliber jump cancel. The principle is the same as before, but timing is far more crucial. You need to perform the jump after the move has connected, but before the enemy flies away. If you make a mistake you can always return to the pull and jump, but try and stay in the air for as long as possible. If the timing feels too hard, I recommend that you go back and practice the previous move for a bit. The final thing I'm going to show you is how to jump cancel the standard aerial combo. The key to this jump cancel is to stop locking onto the enemy and push the directional stick towards him at all times. If done correctly, the aerial combo can be extended indefinitely. However, the window between the jump cancel and the next attack is very small. Instead of pushing the jump button with the tip of your thumb, try instead using the base of your thumb and immediately roll your finger onto the attack button. Finally, try putting all these jump cancels together into one combo. I hope this video has been of some use to you. There are so many layers to this game and many more techniques left for you to discover.